Hello everybody, this is Baron the Bear, and this is going to be another video guide for the Walking Dead Survivors mobile game. Uh, this is actually going to be new revisions for the Wheel of Prosperity. So please like and subscribe for future content. I'm going to try to keep this video as short as I can to change the corrections that the errors I made. Uh, the new video title will be called The Walking Dead Survivors Revision of Wheel of Prosperity. Uh, first, I recommend changing the name to this event to Wheel of Confusion. Uh, really had difficulty with this one. Uh, this revision will be explained on my next Thursday Q&A video. Please stop by every Thursday. Check out my content on Thursdays. Uh, this section, uh, next section will explain parts of the video, how it's broken down so you understand what you want to watch. Uh, revision explanation on point system re rewards for 25 points to 2500 point rewards. First part will be to actually explain what was wrong with the last video. Uh, the second part here would be the link to existing video pin comment will have in game part of guide still correct. With additional helpful links in the pin comment, I may still remove this video just a heads up. Uh, it will be in the pin comments. Uh, I might pull that eventually. Uh, I will have the third point, free advertising for payment of services. We got to feed the bear. You know, this has been, I spent a lot of time trying to get this event, you know, that, that, that make a guide. I think, I, I think this is owed to me at this point. Uh, I will show my own video covering parts of this guide. This may be a new YouTuber record, folks. I'm not kidding you. This could be something you've never seen. So if you want to see something out of, that's never been done, keep watching. Number five, move the de developer notes to simplify event. Please hire an accountant to give reward point system. Also, we'll show video playback over all game suggestions. So this should simplify all tips for the developers. What I'm basically saying is at the very end of this video, you don't have to watch it at, at that point. It'll be just for the developers and they can watch it at that point. They can scroll down, and, you know, whatever. Uh, final, final, this is sixth tip. Moderator request do not to remove this video. If I plug this in the Discord, please don't remove it. Uh, if you want me to beg, please message me via Discord and we can arrange up a time or something and I can get on my hands and knees, whatever you want me to do. But anyway, we're going to go to please post information about your new events. Add developers, you know, anyone involved in the game. You have to put this stuff in into a, the new update when you launch a new event, it, especially if things are kind of confusing. I really had troubles. Would be very helpful to understand reward systems to any event. Please put that in, in the developer notes. Uh, sorry, guys. Totally messed up the 25 points, 2,500 points reward system. Evidently, the score is for each ticket. Uh, so you get five points for each spin. I will explain this. Uh, now I will pause the video. Okay, this is the Wheel of Prosperity. Uh, this is what it will look like when you when you first you know get onto the event for this. Uh, you want to click the little circle icon, the little that has the letter I in it. It will show you the information. You know, explained a little bit on this. Um, and then it will have the probability for each of the items. I'll actually show you a breakdown of that. This is the actual, this is what I actually messed up. I originally thought this was like for the tickets. But this is actually for the five points per ticket. So this was my fault, but I'm only human, guys. So I'm really trying to help you guys out. So um, what else do we got here? Okay, that's it. I'm going to go back to the other part. Okay, here is a breakdown of some of the existing information. Uh, Five-day event, two free spins each day. So five days equals ten spins. So for the five days you do this event, if you do the two free spins every day, you're going to get it automatically. You're going to get 50 points. Okay? So you can use that for whatever you need to get, you know, whatever rewards you want. Uh, if you spend the 4,000 diamonds, you get four spins total. That's another 20 points. So... You know, just by uh, doing the five days and the gems, you're going to get 70 points. And you're going to need five more points uh, to get the the first reward, the second reward, actually. And that's going to be the epic survival fragments. So, the five, ep so at that point, after five days, if you wanted to, you could just spend a dollar to get one ticket to get that five points. So, you know, what you could be looking at just to get the five 
you could get seven epic survivor fragments. The way you could do that would be if you do the five free day speeds spins and spend the 4,000 diamonds and spend a dollar to get that ticket. And you can get those rewards. I recommend using diamonds for spins if you're if you're a low spender, okay? Because you never know. The chances are right here. If you look, the, the ruby jackpots, they're very low. But, you know, I mean, if you got the extra diamonds, give it a shot, man. Yeah, that's one thing I liked about this. It, it's a lot of fun, I think, in some aspects. Uh, it, you know, I think with a little bit of improvement on this, they could really, this could be a really great event. Uh, these are the chances, legendary survivor fragments. Uh, you get one, you know, you get to spin again, 5%. You see all the percentages of everything here. Uh, looks like you get mostly skill medals for development and the combat equally. So if you're needing skill medals, this is probably what is going to be helpful. You will get epic survivor fragments from my the pools I did do. It does look like you get a pretty good amount. Uh, even the Erlenmeyer flask. Uh, I was thinking maybe the, they sh maybe they could add it, make it fifty. But um, you do get quite a bit of them. I I, I think I got like four or so. So that's a hundred. You know, uh, spending twenty dollars. So uh, that's it, you know that could be a nice help for a lot of people if you're needing them flask. Uh, development combat experience. They're a little bit different. Combat's lower. You know, percentage. Uh, you know, it's the basic stuff. And I'm gonna go over to what the actual prices and how you can get the points for each of the rewards get 25 points you get two epic survivor fragments 50 points five days free spins easy win you get two survivor fragments just by getting and playing the game 75 points you need you get five epic survivor fragments five dollar pack yeah pretty easy there if you just want to get the five dollar pack or if you can do all the five free spins five days of free spins you can spend a dollar and get and get it 150 points two legendary survivor fragments $20 pack value you just spend $20 for the tickets you get the two legendary fragments uh, I break it down here 110 points is $20 pack plus the 50 points for free spins five days equals 135 points 15 more which would be 3,000 gem diamonds for three spins 150 points total spending just to get the two legendary survivor frame, which you're looking at total spending of 3,000 diamonds in a $20 pack for the ticket. For, for, yeah. 300 points uh, spins. You, you need, uh, you get 10 epic survival, survivor uh, fragments. It's a $50 value you're going to have to spend to get the 300 points to get the 10 epic survivor fragments. I'll break it down for, at this point. It's pretty easy now at this point. 600 points. Um, you, you can get two Elite Relocation Teleports. I think it's two Elite. Yeah, it's two Elite relo Relocation Points. I had to, just had to check. That's a $100 value at that point, at the 600 points. That's how much it would cost you to get the 600 points. I've done the best math I could with this, guys. 900 points. Uh, you get five Legendary Survivor Fragments. That's $150 it's going to cost you. Uh, 1,250 points. Uh, at that point, it's three light relocation, tele, tele, re relocation teleports. It's $200 of value. Uh, you have to spend 1,500 points. You get 10 legendary survivor fragments. $250 value. How to get those? You need two 99 packs. Uh, plus, you need 50 points for your free spins. Plus, uh, uh, you would still need two... $20 packs for 22 tickets or you could spend just and buy an, another $50 pack which would probably be the better way because then at, at that point you could you know you get extra tickets so I would hi highly recommend if you want to go for the 1500 points just buy two 99 packs and one $50, $50 pack uh, 2000 points you get five elite relocation teleports it's going to cost you about $320 uh, it's three $100 packs. Uh, you still need 125 points left. Uh, you need 1999 pack, 22 tickets plus free spins. It's going to cost you 320 for that 2000 pack. Uh, 2500 points. You, you get 15 legendary survivor fragments, $400 value. Uh, to four uh, $100 packs. And then it, it, it goes right to the, the amount that you need for the 2500 So if you're wanting to get just 
all the everything get the 2500 points buy four 100 packs you got it for the tickets okay uh this event um how i'm gonna exp try to explain this to you guys um do i recommend this for a low spender and you know or you know free to play definitely not uh the free to play your only way you're really going to be able to get anything would be just to get the two epic survivor fragments uh unless you're willing to spend a dollar and you can get the five epic you know next reward you would looking at getting seven epic survivor fragments if you spend a dollar so there is some element there for free to play player uh if you're a low spender um i don't see any issue with spending the twenty dollars for it the ticket the twenty dollar ticket pack and you'll get two legendary survivors and you'll probably get some decent rewards a lot of the research flask and you know i that's what i did and i was happy with it i you know it was nice um i wouldn't recommend anything else to be honest i don't think the value is really there unless you're a spender and you know some people the big spenders man they love this kind of stuff so Okay, this is just a breakdown just to show you if you want to screenshot this. This is perfect for explanation of how what you're going to cost. Um, the, 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 the first part, a 99 cent pack, uh, the five points. I'm At the very end, you get the 55, 75, 105, 163, 56. That's adding the, the, the free spins to those packs. So if you're looking for a certain number, that, that's going to help you there. Uh, the, the four packs underneath that, it's just basically breaking down the $100 packs into tickets. How many tickets you get and what the point values are. As you can see, if you need, if you want to get the twenty five hundred points total, the very bottom one there's four times one hundred dollar packs. So it breaks it all down. Okay, now plug feed the bear. Free advertisement payment of services rendered. At least I'm sort of like free to free player type of stuff that you could easily do and make everybody happy in the game so anyway this is bear and the bear and uh, i'll talk to you guys uh, in the next video